hang inside her. What was it? Is it you? <sighs> when the Hume soldiers came to the wood, the village took small heed of them. So long as the wood herself is safe from harm, the Viera give little care to goings on beyond her. But in me, an uneasiness stirred. I had to discover why they had come. So you came here hoping to find something out and got yourself caught? You're as foolhardy as your sister. They took me then and set close beside me a stone. They said its mist would be drawn into me, that the Viera well suited this end. I saw the light coming from the stone, and then... We have seen this. And Leviathan, the mist released from the Dawn Shard, drove me too into such a rage. She was taken not by the Dawn Shard. Manufactured Nethocyte. Then that means... Penella, the stone I gave you. Do you still carry it with you? Sure. It's right here. <laughs> this is a thing more dangerous again than I had imagined. I should never have given it to you. Forgive me. I, I didn't know. I'd always thought of it as sort of a good luck charm. And even if it is dangerous, on Leviathan it kept us safe. There is a place for all things, even dangers such as this. I hope you're right about that. I heard the woods whispers. Take it. Lente's tear is a permission. Pass through the wood and leave. Two other places go. That cannot be all. I saw it when I left the village. Ivalice is changing. How can the Viera stand and do nothing at all? Ivalice is for the Humes. The wood alone is for us. But that is wrong! How can we just hide here in the trees, when all the world outside is on the move? I too wish to live freely, to leave this wood. Do not do this. You must remain away from the Humes. Stay with the wood. Live together with the wood. This is your way. But Fran, my sister... I am no longer of you. I have discarded wood and village. I won my freedom, yet my past has been cut away forever. No longer can my ears hear the green word. This solitude you want, Mieren? Sister. No, Mieren. Only one sister remains to you now. You must forget my existence. <laughs> I am sorry to make you do this. She goes against the laws of the wood. I threw down these laws. It is better that I do this. Better I than one who must uphold these laws herself. I have a request. 
Listen to the wood's voice for me. I fear, I fear she hates. The wood longs for you, for the child gone from under her boughs. A pleasant lie, that. Be cautious. The wood is jealous of the humes who have taken you. I am as them now. Am I not? Goodbye, sister. <laughs>